I'd become this high grade brain cancer patient. It was, um, it was surreal, I've got to say. I couldn't change, you can't change yesterday or, or last week or the last 12 months, but we can change what happens today and we can wake up tomorrow and do it again. So we've just got to show resilience. You know, it's not all going to go to plan. So when your turn comes in life to deal with situations, step up, be the leader, um, take each day as it comes and, and fight your way out of it. consistent theme of the podcast which is five questions and five answers yeah it's almost like the beautiful conclusion to a great episode yeah but it also gets sent out separately as like a little trailer or teaser for the episode that was sure. give people a bit of an idea on you and who you yeah. are as a human sure so the five questions are always the same for every yeah. guest the first one is if you could recommend only one book or podcast to the listeners and viewers what would it be one book um i haven't read a book since i had surgery. Um, podcast. I don't listen to many podcasts. Man, I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I, I don't really feel I've got one. Well, what about a movie? Um, or is there any piece of literature, art, um, creativity that you think has just helped you? What's something you uh, go back to? Um, oh, man, you should have gave me prep for these ones. <laughs> um, <sighs> Yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't, I don't read. I don't read these days. Now and again, I'll listen to some inspiration on um, on the YouTube and that, you know, like yeah. videos. But yeah. I, don't, I don't have nothing that I can just say, go and listen to. Do you have a mate or someone you go to? Like, we've all got one person that, like, you ring up when you need a little bit of something. Mm. Um, I, I think um, talking to friends is really important. And... Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got some special mates that I will go to and talk to when I, I need um, that, and they're really close mates of mine. So yeah. for me, that's probably as important as reading a book or listening to a uh, it. It's just getting around close mates and, <clears throat> and talking to them and feeling them out on how I should handle situations. Um, real connection. Yeah, real cool. connection. I yeah. love it, mate. Yeah. The second is, is there a skill that you'd recommend trying to master that significantly improved your life? Um, I think, um, I think talking, I think, um, it scares a lot of people, but it's a good skill to have is just to, um, get out of your comfort zone and talk and, and don't be afraid to talk in front of the group and challenge yourself to do that. Cause I think that's a nice, and you do it really well. Um, Thank you. I think it's a good skill to have. Man, I love it. Mm. A simple one too. And I think, like you said, it only enriches your life. Yeah. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's for feeling supported, for yeah. supporting another, yeah. and just connecting with people. I think for sure. it's, honestly, it's, it's almost the first skill, right? Yeah. It's, it's the one that served us for the longest time. Yeah, and it's, um, not, easy to, it's not easy to execute in front so of the crowd, true. is it? Yeah. So true. Third question is, what's a challenge, and maybe we can steer away from um, the big challenge itself, but maybe a smaller challenge within it that you face that's required you to really exercise your resilience to overcome? Well, okay, outside of the foundation, um, I, think, I think as a sportsman, you endure injuries. And at times you think it's the end of the world, but it's not. Um, you will recover and you'll get better. And no matter what level of sport you play, you'll probably get an injury. Uh, for me, just injuries and just rehab it and get myself back. And I think my dedication and commitment to getting back from injuries as a sportsman really helped me in my situation down the track. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Very well said. Yeah. Mate, is there an attribute or I guess an attribute that you've worked at developing that you think is such an important piece to play in, in life at the moment? Uh, I think presence, um, as in be present with who you're talking to um, and no matter what the situation give people your time and um, respect. Because we do all get busy sometimes and you'll find, you, you know, you know what it's like, you're talking to someone but you're looking over the shoulder because your mates are over there. And mm -hmm. so it's just about being present and respectful for who, for who you're with and what you're doing. And I think if people do that in life, um, I think it's, um, it's a nice thing. Matt, have you ever heard of Hugh Van Cullenberg? Start no. the Resilience Project? Yeah, I don't know. Um, amazing speaker, really good book, great mm. podcast. He does a few things. and. I heard Hugh talk about it in a podcast where he said he always felt like sometimes when he's super busy in life, he avoids 
personal situations because he doesn't have the time to speak. Mm. And then he said, then I realised that I don't want to ever be the guy who doesn't have time to stop and talk to someone. And I notice in my life that when I'm a little, when I take the weight of the world off my shoulders and I stress a little less about where I have to be and how quickly I have to be there, and I'm just present, and you actually talk yeah. and you listen to yeah. people, yeah. you can meet some really intriguing people. And learn a lot. Mate, so much. The last guest of the podcast, I was sitting at a Gang of His concert in Sydney. He walked in, I recognised his face somewhat from being in the local area. And we sat and we chatted, mate. He had the most incredible story. Mm. And he ended up being a podcast guest and he's now oh. become a mate. And it's just, I thought after that concert, I thought, how do I have just thought, oh, I'm just here to watch the concert and yeah. not spoken. Like, what would I have missed yeah. out on? Yeah. And and so, um, so true. So true. And a little interesting fact is that you don't learn nothing whilst you're talking, you know? So sometimes you just got to zip it up, yeah. use these, yeah. and you'll learn a lot. And um, you know, that's, I think that's important. Mate, I could probably mm. do a bit more listening than I do talking, uh, let me tell you. We're all guilty yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, the last question, arguably the most important of the whole podcast, is a really good opportunity for you to leave a message with the audience. So if you had one message to share with the world and you could encourage them to act on it, what would that message be? I think um, my message will be that life gets tough, it does, uh, at times, and um, we've just got to show resilience, you know, it's not all going to go to plan, so when your turn comes in life to deal with situations, step up, be the leader, um, take each day as it comes and, and fight your way out of it, and um, be supported by your friends and family and, and, and do some great things. Don't. Don't worry about statistics or what, what everyone else's journey. Just focus on yourself and give yourself every chance of fighting and, and, and winning um, because life can be tough at times and we've just got to just deal with it. So that's probably a good thing. Mark Hughes, mate, yeah. I want to celebrate everything you've achieved thus far. I want to encourage you to keep going because your work is so powerful, mate. Even just what you say and, and the conversations that people have with you, they really yeah. do rub off and and do so much good. So, mate, thank awesome. you so much. Thank you, Brad. That was great. Um, a great chat, mate. So I really appreciate that. Thanks for coming from Wollongong. Mate, pleasure. And I hope if, if people get one little thing out of it, we've done our job. Mate, we definitely have. Great. Cheers.